Dion Wynne. Hi everyone, welcome back to my book for the very first time and I'm here again with another review for you and today we'll be discussing Jacques Audier's latest film Paris 13th District or Les Olympiades as it is called in French and Audier has been a crucial part of my cinema going life since 2009 when I saw A Prophet I was like who the hell is this director? I need to see more of his films and as each film has gone out after that I've just been like damn this man is a genius and I really do think that his style is always evolving. But I think when it came to Sisters Brothers in 2018, his English language debut, I thought to myself, mm, there's something missing here. But I'm really glad that he actually went back to France and made this film and trust me, there is a lot to discuss. So enough introducing, let's get talking. I'll be really vague with the synopsis of this film, but it follows the story of Emily, who meets Camille, who is attracted to Nora, who crosses paths with Amber, three girls and a boy, they're friends, sometimes lovers, and often both. Right, this was a fascinating deep dive into understanding, finding yourself within the 21st century. We are bombarded with modern technology, influencers, people who are telling us what we should like, what we should not like, how we should look, and everything in between. And I think this is the interesting thing that I find so fascinating about this, is actually understanding a demographic that's a little bit younger than me, but also understanding a demographic that is my age, and that is mainly Nomi Melon, who plays Nora in the film. I just thought it was quite interesting in the way that it's kind of conceived and it's executed. But Audiad really kind of goes into this post-modernist sense of the Nouvelle Vague, which is amazing to witness. It's heavily influenced by Eric Romare, which Audiard has mentioned himself, which I really loved because the, the screenplay itself, it's written by three writers, but the two most prominent, obviously, Audiard and Celine Sciamma. And I thought it was so witty the way that it was executed. Obviously, it's based off a graphic novel, which kind of helps the subject matter. But I think the sense of having multiple writers working on multiple characters is really crucial here. And as you kind of go through it, you're not really sure where it's going to go or how it's going to be executed. But it always seems to kind of go down a really emphatic road, but a very emotional journey. And I think each one of these characters has a story to tell and they're very unique tales to share. And when we go into the sense of technology, the, the two main sources that I found quite interesting was the sense of mobile phone dating, uh, Tinder, and also webcam models, which is Nora's tale and Amber's tale. I really found it interesting how this personal connection through the internet seems to be something that is so rife in society now. And I think the way that the characters kind of connect with it, I think, Nora, Camille, Emily, they're, they're all kind of trying to understand what they want, what kind of love they need in their lives. And I really found that to be so touching. But within its monochrome setting, it's beautiful to look at. It's very emotional, very personal. It's very free-flowing camera style. And the music is so pulsating and it really enhances the experience and this emotional drive that the film has. And Every time you kind of switch to a different character, you're going through different kinds of journeys. The only story that I wasn't overly sold was, was Camille, who's played by Makita Samba. I really felt like he was the linchpin that connected all of these people, but it never really kind of flourished. But I really thought that Nora's tale, played by Nomi Melon, was the most outstanding one because I think it was really a modern take of understanding yourself sexually and as a young person in society today. And I think this Parisian setting that the film has is so beautiful, so emphatic and adds to the ambience of what Paris 13th District is. It will divide some people for sure, but between its witty dialogue, its emotional core and its brooding sense of wonderful characters, Lucy Zhang is absolutely outstanding. It's a fantastic debut from her. I think Makita Samba, again, another actor I'm really intrigued to see more. And Jenny Beth, who actually plays the webcam model, I loved her as Amber. And her connection with Nomi Melon was fantastic. And I really loved how that tale kind of connected. Everything turned out very well. I think the arcs kind of come to a full conclusion. And I think it was a real return to form from Jacques Audiard, and I think Celine Sciamma has a lot to do with this. So thank you very much for watching this. If you have seen the film, please let me know in the comment section below what you thought of it. And if you haven't, let me know what your favorite Jacques Audiard film is. And until the next time, take care, bye.